Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we designed this little 3D carousel and it takes us to our little blog posts here. But if we go to a blog post, it's kind of a generic looking blog post. So what we're going to do in this video today is show you how to customize your blog post using the Divi theme. So we're going to turn it into something generic looking like that. So something that's more our own like this. It's got our own content in there. Very simple example, but it'll give you the idea of how you can customize your blogs how you wish. So let's get started. To do this today, we need to use the theme builder. To do, get there, go down to your dashboard, down to Divi, and there you'll find theme builder. Here's the custom body I built for that already. Let's just trash this and we'll start again. Okay, I'm going to add a new template. It's going to ask me what I want to apply it to. You can apply it to all your posts if you want to, or you can apply it to posts in specific category or posts with specific tags, or just specific posts if you want to. Now, obviously, you have to have some posts before this is going to work for you, so make sure you've got some posts in your posts there. I'm going to go for specific categories. I'm going to do new and old posts. Now I'm going to create a template. It's created it here. Let's add a custom body for it. If you want to, you can add a custom header and a custom footer to your post if you want to as well. I'm happy with the footer and header I've got. We'll do those in different videos perhaps. I'm going to say build a custom body. And it'll open the theme builder very much like the front end builder here. I'm going to add a row. We think about what we want here. The first thing I want is the actual post title up here. So I'm going to put a single row just with a post title in there. I'm going to roll down. Here's a post title. And then I'll grab the title from any post. You could do it with dynamic content as well if you wanted to. Choose the elements that you want to show there. I just want to show the title and the meta and the author. Don't want to show the date. Well, I guess we can show the date. Don't need to show both categories or comments. And I don't want to show the featured image. I just want the title up there. I want it to be in the middle of our page. So I'm going to pop in there. I'm going to go into text and put it in the middle of my page. And I think I'll capitalize that title text. Great. That's fine. So we're going to come in, we're going to have a page, we're going to have our title there. Then I think I'd like to have a featured image here. Then the actual post content over here, which is whatever's in your post there. So let's add another little row here. Green button to add a new row. I'm going to do a side by side. On the left, I'm going to have another post title with just the featured image. There it is. I'm going to turn everything else off apart from the featured image right there because that's all I really want to see for that one. Great. Great. Well, underneath that, I think I'll have a little revolving carousel with the rest of our posts. I might adjust this row so it's a little less on the left than the right. So I'm going to click on the row, the green tab for the row. And instead of a Something like that. Let's put something like that in. So we've got more on this side for the actual post content. And to have whatever your post is displaying in here, you must have a post content module. So let's go in here. We'll roll down. And here's a post content model. And basically what that go that's going to do is post any content that you've got already in your existing posts right here. And you can go in and you can edit this like any other thing. Give it a white background perhaps. Give it a bit of padding. I might make those headings capitalized like our top up there. So H1, H2, heading three. That's fine. And let's just give it a bit of spacing all around and a bit of box shadow. I won't spend too much time on it. Obviously design's up to you. So spacing wise, let's give it perhaps 30 pixels all around. Put in the 30 it'll put in the pics hit the chain it'll do the opposite side for you same with the left and right okay give it a bit of box shadow 
lift it off the page a bit there we go so whatever is in our post will display here we've got our featured image right there okay what about below the featured image I'd like a little carousel of the other available posts perhaps so let's just click on here we'll add a new module and I'm going to add a post to carousel and these are all just regular Divi modules that come as standard there's our little post slider choose the categories you want new posts and old posts and what type of slider do we actually want well I'm pretty happy with the way that's it displaying you can turn elements on and off here with the elements but I'm going to leave that pretty much like it is design wise I don't think I need an overlay everything's working quite nicely there navigation works image works text everything's good for me so I'm going to leave mine just like that I do want it to be automatic so I'm going to go down to animation at the bottom of design I'm going to turn automatic animation to on animation speeds every seven seconds I'm going to take mine down to about four seconds four thousand milliseconds and it'll actually stop when we hover on it also if you turn that off it'll keep revolving even when you hover over it okay well I'm happy with that what else do we want here well perhaps under here we can have a little call to action saying read our latest posts or something like that so let's just add a call to action a little dark button to add a new module again there's a call to action right there fantastic I'm going to change that background color and content there just make it our own and for the title perhaps something like read latest post whatever you want to say obviously and for the button click here is fine button won't turn up until you put a link in so on content just below the content is a link if I put a hashtag in there as opposed to a link obviously you want to take them to perhaps your blog page or wherever it is where your latest posts are okay and always best practice if you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window if you're linking off site to somebody else's tab open it in a new tab there so your site stays open great okay well let's add another little row under this because we've got our content and we've got our read latest posts we've got our little blog carousel or slider right there so I'm going to add a new one perhaps with a contact form or something so people can reach out to you so we'll pop a contact form in there obviously you add and delete fields here I'm not going to go into too much detail with this have a look at our contact form video if you want to go into detail with this down below well we'll give it a title perhaps reach out whatever you want to say when the forms sent we'll give them a success message submit button I'm happy for it to say submit important one the emails where you want this form to be sent to put your email address in there or wherever it is you want the the form to be sent if you want it to redirect afterwards you can put a redirect URL in there I'm happy for it to stay on the page with the message they've got spam protection down below I'm going to take that off and you can use a third-party service like recapture or Google recapture if you want to you need an API key for that I'm happy to leave mine off for that in a minute let's give this a bit of a background let's give it a dark background perhaps not as black as that that's okay I will take a bit of the opacity away because I might put a background in this page so I'm going to pull the opacity down about 75% and then if we put a background in there it'll see a bit of the background through it okay I need to give it a little bit of spacing put that title in the middle so here's our title text I can just click on the little paintbrush icon by it will take us to the right place to edit it so I want to make it white and I'm going to pop it in the middle I need a bit of spacing on there let's make that button text white also just going to hit custom styles for the button 
and make it white as you can see down there let's add a little mail icon to it as well that's that little paper airplane one and I want it to be showing all the time so I'm going to only show icon on hover I'm going to turn that to off there we go okay let's go down the spacing down below and let's give it about 30 pixels all around again just put in the 30 hit the chain job done great then of course blog posts quite a lot of the time you want people to comment on them so let's have a, a little comment form down below so again I'm going to add a new little module I think we'll keep it in the same row and here's comments right here And there it is, usual sort of comment field. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to give it a sort of opaque white background. You won't see a lot because it's white on white at the moment, but I think I'll, like I say, I'll put a background color in there. And let's give it a bit of padding. Go down to spacing. I'm going to give it 50 pixels all around this one. Again, just put in the 50, or put in the pics, hit the chain, do the opposite side. Great. And just to finish off here, let's put a background in the whole section that we've got here. So save this, go into the section at the top here. And yeah, let's combine a perhaps an image with a gradient. So we'll put a gradient in there. Let's just put a a white color in the middle perhaps so we've got that variation going on there okay well let's add an image to it as well next door okay and let's go down a bit and use the blend feature to make it a little more interesting it's not too bad an overlay effect like that yeah, I'm going to give our post no paint I thought I gave it a white background there let's go back in there the so comments not too legible there let's go in let's go into the background I guess I didn't let's give it a background color I'll make that white going to take the opacity down a bit so we can see a bit of the image behind but still read everything nicely there we go and I'll leave it there obviously you can go to town you can do exactly what you want on your post page but I'm going to save this just like this so you've got an idea of what you can do we'll save the page changes make sure we'll X out out there make sure everything's saved in our theme builder here great well now we've got blog post 3 which is one of the old posts I believe when I refresh this it should come up with our new background for our blog post there and there we have it we've got our, our title we've got our featured image we've actually got the content of what that post actually says they're all pretty generic I haven't got a lot in there but whatever's in your post it'll be in this little section here We've got our little blog slider there, a little carousel sliding between the different blog posts. We've got a little call to action there. If they want to read the latest post, taking them wherever you want to take them. We've got a contact form down below they can fill out and send. And we've got a comment field down below that they can fill out and send a comment if, they, if you want them to comment. So there you go guys, there's how to customize your blog post page really easy to do and really makes a difference so we change it from something like this to something more like this which is a lot more interesting and a lot more personal so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.